Hi everyone, welcome to this module on file storage service snapshots. This is a really quick uh, module where we talk about uh, snapshots. Snapshots provide a read-only space efficient point-in-time backup of a file system. Snapshots are created under the root folder of file system in a hidden directory named dot snapshot and we'll actually see this in our uh, demo. So how you create snapshots using the console is really simple. You can uh, come to your file system and just hit create snapshot and you would be able to create one. And now when you go to your CD to this snapshot hidden directory uh, in your in your uh, in your file system, you could access and see all the snapshots there. Now uh, you can take up to 10,000 snapshots per file system and I believe this is a soft limit you can you can even increase. You can restore a file within the snapshot or an entire directory using the cp or rsync command. So as it's shown here, you could run a command like this, copy snapshot. These snapshots are stored in this snapshot directory as we said, right? And the names are something like snapshot underscore name. Um, and then you will have like a date or something unique identifier or you could change, provide your own custom value there. And then you could say the destination directory name. So if you have a lot of files, and people are writing and reading and changing stuff and you want to just take a snapshot in many files, you could just do the restoration using a command like uh, like like this here. If nothing has changed within the target file system and you take a snapshot, it does not consume any additional storage, right? So it has a pointer and uh, it's, uh, you know, it keeps track of what has changed. If you regularly keep taking snapshots and there is no change, uh, it does not consume uh, additional storage so you because you pay for that storage so it's not like you are uh, constantly uh, paying for additional storage so let me uh, go here and show you how the snapshot functionality works so if i go to my file system right here we looked into export paths and export options and all that if i click on snapshot right i can see there is no snapshot here so i can create a snapshot and right here it's giving me a you know uh, yeah, it's giving me uh, 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 default name but i can change that right so i can call i can call this uh, snapshot one and hit create here right and my snapshot would be created i just have one file in my file system so it would create a snapshot uh, of, the, of the of the of that file if i had a directory with multiple file systems uh, with multiple files it would actually create a snapshot for all of them right and you can see it's active so if i go to my uh, uh, my uh, uh, nfs clients I have two running here in the previous demos, FSS1 and FSS2. And if I uh, CD to the snapshot directory, I can see my snapshot one here, right? And if I if I uh, CD to the snapshot one directory, I can see my uh, file is available here, right? And if I go from the client two, let's go ahead and create another uh, another file here. This is my second client. And there you go, right? We created another another file. If I go to my snapshot one now, you would see that it's still one file, right? Because I took a snapshot. Snapshot is nothing but point in time backup, right? Now I added another file after that. So I'll, of course I'll have to create another another snapshot if I want to uh, if I want to have that file which we just created be available here, right? So I create my snapshot too, and if I go from my second uh, uh, client, if I access the snapshot directory now, I can see that I have the snapshot two directory created, right? And if I click to snapshot to directory, I can see that I have my file to create it uh, uh, available here, right? So really straightforward, uh, nothing complex. Uh, you can do 10,000 snapshots uh, per file system. And this is how you create snapshots. I'm using console. Otherwise you can use it through, through CLI or whatnot, right? And if you have to restore these files, you can run a command like copy and you could copy everything in that snapshot directory. Uh, with different snapshots and you could get get, get to a, like a destination uh, directory. So uh, thank you for watching this uh, module. I, I hope you found it useful uh, and thank you for watching this lecture series on file storage service.